Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Death Stranding, where last time we were building roads. I was not expecting to be building roads, but here we are. Unfortunately, it seems as though nobody has been building this road since I was last here. Um, and it also kind of makes me wonder exactly, like, how connected am I to everybody else around me? Um... Am I playing with a very specific group of players? Am I playing with a specific group of players who are in the same area that I am? Like, uh, consider, for instance... Consider, for instance, um... Actually, let me, uh, remember what I got. So I need... About 430 chiral crystals, I think is what they were called. So yeah, um, consider the fact that on my trip south to the distro center, this road was not there. Or should I say, how about this, not to the distro center, to the engineer. When I traveled to the engineer and when I traveled to the other uh, two folks... Um, this road was not there. Uh, I went to the engineer, got the server that I was about to take back to, th that I took back to Lake Knot City, and it was only after I had returned with the server okay. you go, speed demon. Uh, that the road had appeared before me. That the road had manifested itself. Um... without my my ever lifting a finger like so many sections of road having been built by players who had come here before me and i and the thing is it only showed itself on after i had returned to lake knot city and was tasked to uh hold on can i build road of this in this road? Or is that not an option? Also, did somebody just build a garage there? Oh, hold on. There is, in fact, a road to build here. Huh. It's just that road has not been finished. Where does that road go? Like, this road clearly goes somewhere. But that road, I'm not entirely sure of its intentions. Yeah, he doesn't really have that many chiral crystals. Or at the very least, enough that I would need in order to proceed to build any uh, specific road. Um, if I go all the way back to Lake Knot City, they've got 300 chiral crystals. I may have to put aside this road building project for now, uh, simply because I'd like to actually continue on with the game. But this is interesting. This entire road uh, construction project. Like, how many players did it take uh, for this road to get to where it was? Unfortunately, that is a destroyed container. Um, also, while on the road, I'm on the chiral network, so I don't have to worry about any battery usage. Also, uh, since last time, I had made a couple of... Uh, deliveries, just standard deliveries, um, and because people had driven on roads that I had completed, that increased my bridge link a lot. So I'm going to see if I can mess around with that by going to the next portion of road that needs to be built. Hold on. Okay, that's just uh, lost cargo that needs to go to the 
engineer. Luckily for me, and not the engineer, I do not care about his lost cargo. Though, here's the thing. My concern with taking... I don't think it's a good idea to take the motorcycle from here on out. Okay. Because that is looking a little nuts. Let's go to the structure menu. Um... I thought I was able to do something with it. Like, the game talked about stuff. Oh well. Um, I guess we have to keep going. Where are we going? Oh yeah. We probably need to pick up a job. Let us go pick up a new job. <laughs> I got so distracted building roads. Uh, that I forgot about even by uh, picking up a delivery. I don't necessarily remember if there's any specific destination I'm... Who are you, folk? Are you just... Random faceless porters? Oh. Hey, yeah. All right. Good on you, porters. I did not realize um <laughs> that I was going to actually encounter NPCs also delivering cargo. Um, so this is going to the weather station. Who is... oh my gosh. Now, this is... the weather station is run by Alex Weatherstone. Does this is the weather st like Sam? Sometimes other porters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. All right, I actually already have a trike out there, so I'm um oh, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting that I have to. Confirm that I'm not taking anything. Like, the way that the menus in this game work is you always have to confirm to move forward. Um, like, I always assume... I, I always automatically hit the circle button to back, o o to back away from a menu under the assumption that... I'm leaving said menu, but the game sets it itself up so that I'm always moving forward through menus, not closing out of menus. And clearly my head has yet to just grasp that basic concept. Don't be a stranger now. All right. Where am I going? I'm going way into the mountains. Um, don't know what's a good direction to get there, actually. How about we'll... Oh, Sam goes to the bridge, and then he goes to the... Weather station. See how easy that is? Just... I don't even know why I was even worried about this. Also, this isn't even my bike in the first place.
Yeah, there we go. Uh, almost. Clearly, this is the best choice for navigating these rough terrains. I probably should give this guy some likes. Oh, hold on. Okay, now this is something that I like. The fact that I can see my destination. So even though the game is giving me this, this, uh, this sweet racing line to follow, I, at the very least, know exactly where I'm going. Oh my gosh. I really probably should have just walked. <laughs> oh, great. Especially if there are BTs. Yeah. In retrospect, it feels as though walking was probably the better choice. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Yep. Why is this... Ugh. Nope, no. Damn it. Why? God damn it. Oh. Do I have to fight a boss battle now? Clearly I made a mistake. Okay. Climb you summon of a... Matic grenade and a PCC? Okay, I'll leave those behind. Now, can I just run away? And by run away, I mean... I guess I can. I thought that was going to be harder. Um, oh well, faithful motorcycle. You've done a good service. But your your driver is a fool. And you had to be leave behind, left behind. Along with some hematic grenades. And two PCCs. But... You were forgotten. You were left behind, but not forgotten. I mean, surely eventually you're going to be forgotten. Like, probably by the end of this whole recording in the first place. But still, you did your due diligence. I mean, I suppose I could always just go back. But not now. Also, this kind of makes me wonder what the edge of the, uh, of that encounter is actually supposed to be. Like, uh, is the game actually expecting me to, to have gone into more of a straight line? That way I would have actually been in more danger? And did I just conveniently walk away from the BTs? In which case, if the BTs are as not so dangerous as they apparently 
kind of aren't, does that make the BTs more of an inconvenience rather than something terrible? Also, once I get everything on the Cairo network, I'll be able to see these BT areas in advance anyway. And that was one of the main reasons why I wasn't able to easily navigate. Plus, again, I really shouldn't have brought that motorcycle with. Like, I was more or less sacrificing that motorcycle um, once I started hitting that rough terrain. Is there a way to predict time fall? Like, can you really can you see areas where it rains ahead of time, or is it just going to be there? Also, there it is. Oh, good job, Umbrella 1982. It's because of your efforts and my efforts and the efforts of porters like you and myself that that auto paver will be complete. I may not have finished it, and you may not have finished the road, but someone will. And by gosh, that's actually really cool. Probably more interesting than the story in the... Oh, jeez. In the game itself. Now... Okay. For a second, I was wondering exactly how... Uh, connected this area is um, because this land is a lot of big slopes and crevices. How you doing, Sam? Are you talking to yourself? Over here. Over here. Over here. Ah. Because that's the thing, like, imagine if you were playing this game offline, and you had to supply all the materials yourself. Or would the game simulate the presence of other porters? Oh, hello. Nice. By having them, like, the AI porters build structures. Because if they don't, then this world is going to appear extremely empty in comparison. Like, it's kind of like, um, I played Journey back in the day, and I feel as though Journey is probably the most apt comparison for this game because of the multiplayer aspect. Uh, in that it's not really like a hardwired, hardwired multiplayer as much as you just happen to meet people in its online environment. Like, imagine if playing Journey single player, uh, which is something that I did because I played that game way too late. And it was a very empty world. Delivering cargo. Yeah, Sam looks kind of messed up. My fault. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. We've been expecting you, Sam Bridges. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Oh, yeah. Thank you. The amount of materials that can be used at the weather station has been increased. That presents the idea that the weather station has its own function. Can the weather station be used to predict time fall? Also, 15%. I'm not particularly happy with it, but it was less than 50%, so... So yeah, I'm already at like 29 bridge link because people have been driving over my roads. Look how many times I've pleased someone else. Jeez. 
Um, I've achieved Bridge Gate 30. Information concerning items has been shared with you. You can now make more strand contracts. I have no idea how to make a strand contract. Your sync level with other players is increased by 10%. You can now make more strand contracts. Aw, oh, yeah. Few porters claim to be as reliable as myself. Because I'm that reliable. Ignore the, the stains on my suit. You have been awarded Master Mover. Is there... What is the maximum... Um, because master sounds pretty maximum, but I could be horribly wrong. Also, I'm surprised that that's the one that filled up so fast, simply because that wasn't budging at all. You mind doing the honors? Oh yeah. Would you like to join the chiral network? We all float down here in the chiral network. Excellent! It still seems like I've got a whole bunch of work to do, but... I have acquired the weather station. Oh, the PCC level two. The floating carrier. Hmm. Local data from the weather station has enabled Bridge HQ to add data for a new structure to your PCC. Timefall shelter. All right. Oh, and the safe house. I did see some people with the safe house out there. Weather forecast. Excellent. I was asking about it and the game immediately provides. I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. I am pretty I awesome. The same for you. We won't let you down. I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Chirelium levels. Okay, what does that mean? The, <laughs> primary functions. the more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect time fall and when. Without the Chiral Network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your couplings. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I would I'll imagine so. The chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. I wonder how many of these the actions are specific to uh, are specifically mo kept to those uh, sets of dialogue and how many of those actions are just kind of like generic dialogue and then they add the dialogue in or generic emotions and then they add the dialogue in later unfortunately there is no Um, private room, so I cannot get clean, but I can build a safe house. So let us go build a safe house. This order involves a lot of cargo. Completing a foot may prove difficult using a floating character. Oh yeah, now I think I know what a floating character. Is. 
We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. A timefall shelter can provide protection from timefall locations where no other cover is available. Shelters are equipped with cargo container repair spray and are heated in order to keep cold weather at bay. Um, I think I need PCC2. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. Okay. Um, I'm going to build a... A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Ah, uh, okay. Seems like it's for the best, really. Truly, truly the best way to carry all these equipments. I'm sure I'm going to be able to equip this, uh... Oh, jeez. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I? Sam, you're gonna need more chiral crystals. Get out there and search. When you found the required amount, head to the site and get that safe house in order. Oh, I need. I think I need to drop. There we go. So let us drop off some special alloys. Special alloy. No, those are on my back. Okay. No. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe by the end of the game, I'll figure out the menus. Uh, in the meantime, though, I have to go... Weather forecast can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. Blue areas indicate Titan timefall. The arrow indicates wind speed and direction. So it. L okay. Wait. Alright. So that area. Has a whole bunch of Titan timefall. I think. And the area I'm in is A OK. Okay. I probably should also make a route. There we 
There we go. Is this actually floating? Or am I just dragging? Also, is that where I'm supposed to be building the... Yes. That is where I'm supposed to be building the safe house. I can see how this would be useful, especially if you don't have a vehicle, especially if you're going over a lot of rough terrain. Um, if, especially if you want to start dragging, I'm going to start trying to, to not say the word, um, especially, um, when you're driving over rough terrain and your vehicle isn't going to be able to cut it, such as like, if I wanted to, no, oh, hold on. What was it offering me to pick up? I don't know. <sighs> um, yeah, so like trying to get materials, say, from the weather station to any other uh, area, um, especially, uh, damn it, I've already failed, um, such as, uh, All right, you've made it. Let's get that safe house built. Like, if I wanted to take some heavy materials from there to perhaps uh, the Southern Distribution Center to help expand the road. Um, I would definitely need a lot of materials. And I probably wouldn't want to um, do that a whole bunch of times. Now, because uh, now if I was able to just load up this carrier, take one trip as opposed to many trips. Although I wonder how much uh, chiral crystals it actually requires to operate. I hear you, baby. That won't cut it, Sam. You need more chiral crystals. If you don't have more on you, go out and get some and deliver them to the safe house. Um, I'm going to at the very least drop off yeah I don't have enough chiral crystals because I spent all of them on the uh, the road I have 158 I need 300 All right, let's detach this carrier. I probably should see what it is to ride the carrier. Um, attach carrier. And let's ride it. Um, that was way less exciting than I was expecting. All right. Now to get some chiral crystals. Be right back. Yeah. All right. So I've gotten the uh, correct the amount of. Actually, I've gotten more than I uh, the, the chiral crystals that I needed. I went back to the base, collected the stuff that they had. Um, by base, I mean the weather station. Um, 
I also learned uh, what I should have done is what I should have done is I should have just built a watchtower because using a watchtower enables Sam to spot more goodies from his position rather than just using the scanner. Also, there we go. We got another memory chip. What other piece of media, possibly licensed by Sony, is this one going to reference? We will not find that out right now. Let us uh, finish building this safe house. Make our own private home away from home. Which is... Actually, now that I think about it, that's probably the main reason why the weather station itself does not have a private room is so that Sam can build one as a tutorial near the weather station. Alright. Can you build multiple safe houses? Uh, let us add the necessary amount of chiral crystals. Fantastic. But yeah, if you're able to build a lot of safe houses, or are you just able to build one safe house? Would it be a waste of material to build a lot of safe houses? You're welcome. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who will use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. Also, I suppose this means that I could find other people's else, safe houses and use them as well to re uh, rest, and to rest and recuperate. There. I will definitely be the first person to rest and recuperate. Also, this means that the PCC was able to not only build upwards, but also build downwards, considering it has constructed an elevator into a private room. And this comes with the same action figures I have everywhere else. I will use the bathroom. Also, um, am I able to use, um, yeah, wink at you too, sir. Oh, yeah, your, your rank. <laughs> Definitely. That, that is fun. The fact that he would be like, yep, I definitely need a shower. Um, but does, uh, does Fragile also connect to safe houses, or is it just cities? Um, let us have some delicious crypt crypto biotes. One of these days I'll remember what these things are called. Crypto biotes, yes. And some monster energy drink. And some more monster energy drink. And dear god, some more monster energy drink. Okay. I think we're ready. We're clean. We're energized. We're having strange flashbacks involving Mads Mikkelsen. I mean, who else would I want to hallucinate about, other than Mads Mikkelsen?
I think he's drunk. Drinking wine directly out of the bottle. He's also got blood on his face. That big disgrace. Fuck, idiot. Think you could keep us safe. Oh, is that also kind of like the attachment between him and Bibi? Is that uh, his, he knows that because the mother herself is brain dead, the Bibi is also what keeps the mother alive. I put on that bed. Just you and me now, baby. Who am I got? I'll keep you safe. No matter what. But yeah, I wonder how he actually fits in with everything. Especially since uh like I've met Higgs. I know who Higgs is and how Higgs relates to other characters. Um, Higgs used to work with uh, Fragile, but he set her up the bomb. And now uh, he's on his own path of destruction, and it's up to Fragile and myself to try to stop him. Or uh, to be more specific, uh, it's up to Fragile, myself, and Bridges, and America. To put a stop to him and also other America because your sister's name is America at least her middle name um, but I find it kind of interesting like walking around and seeing the structures that other people create and going over to the weather station people propped up some ladders so you could climb up to the top of the uh, station which is fun Alex Weatherstone. Scanning bridges. I need verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons are locked until departure. Alex Weatherstone sounds like either a James Bond villain or like the accomplice of a James Bond villain. Or if it was Alexis Weatherstone, then a James Bond babe. Either way, it's pretty much just James Bond characters. Uh, wheat seed delivery to Timefall farmers? How does that work? Um, let's see. I'm going to just go off with what I've got. I had to consciously think about... Holding down the X button there. I had to really think about the fact that I needed to press the X button in order to continue the me the menu uh, function. But I managed to do it. Up. Oh. <laughs> yep. It was close there. Touch and go. All right. Now, am I going to have to deal with things? Online sign. Do not use. So I need to go way down yonder. Uh, I think I... I think I get it. Maybe. No guarantees. So what I'll do is this is my... Um, destination. And I will get there by... I 
kind of going around. With any luck... Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. No, I don't want to spend all my batteries in one place, unfortunately. So let us make our way south. Um, I'm going to try to grab as many chiral crystals because I feel as though that's going to be the material that's going to be hardest to get. Like, looking at the, uh... The internal stores of various uh, places that I've traveled through. A lot of them don't necessarily have... Actually, I'm just going to go over here to see what's in it. Um... Don't have that much, uh... that many chiral crystals. A lot of them have just like, um, like a few here, a few there. Custom chiral ladder. Weird. All right. Like, uh, there are a lot of places that have a pretty decent amount of metals, decent amount of ceramics. Uh, but chiral crystals tend to be relatively low. They tend to be towards, like, uh, the 80s to 100s. And by that I mean 80 to 100, and that's probably just about it. Uh, and there are a lot of places, uh, like, the roads themselves generally require a few hundred. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now. Which you can also say is kind of like where, um, uh, Sam's character begins his quest. Um, like, he's, he, he doesn't really necessarily care about where he's going. He just wants to go out and make deliveries. He's not necessarily focusing on his own future, let alone the future of the human race. Ah. Although I've got to say, I, I've said it before, it's worth repeating, like, this game is very picturesque. I think the baby found that exciting. Also, I'm again reminded that I probably need to stock up on low roar music on my iPhone. Just download all that sweet low roar because I like their vibe. I've recently kind of been, uh, in regards to music, I don't know if I've necessarily been that big of like a music a uh, connoisseur, so to speak. Um, but I, I don't really listen to that much music, is probably the the best way to put it. Um, I'm the kind of person who would... I, I hear one song that I really, really like from a band, and then I listen to that one song over and over again, and never look up a single other song from that band. There are, of course, uh, exceptions to this rule, uh, there are some bands I've actually listened to albums from, but like, uh, for example, 
Uh, here's a band that breaks the exception. Sorry. If it breaks the exception, then it is no longer the exception. It is the rule. That does not work as a sentence. <laughs> um, one band that was an exception, but it also kind of shows how little I, I do in regards to pursuing music is Coheed and Cambria. A long time ago, a co-worker of mine uh, gave me an album. I think it was just a copied album of theirs. Don't worry, I eventually bought my own copy. Of, um... I forget the album name, but it's the album that their big hit, uh... Welcome Home is on. I want to say it's called, uh... Apollo I'm Burning or something like that. Or Hey Apollo I'm Burning. Anyway, um... Let's slowly make our way down. Oh. But I've listened to that whole song, whole album. And it is fantastic. It is a great album. I have not listened to a single other Coheed and Camry album because I don't know. Something in regards to my head and in regards to the way that I appreciate music and in regards to the way that I seek out music somehow makes it hard for me internally to go about and be like, hey, I like this song, now I'm going to start listening to other people's songs. And I wonder if part of it is just like the way that I treat music as opposed to treating video games. like. With video games, it's very easy for me to just look at a video game and be like, all right, I'm gonna try all these other different video games. I played a video game from this company, well, let me try some other games for this company because uh, of how I liked this first game. Um, for example, um, I love Way Forward. Uh, some of their games aren't so hot, um, but after playing through Double Dragon Neon, that encouraged me to play through uh, Adventure Time, uh, Hey Garbage King, no, Hey Ice King, Why Do You Steal All the Garbage, is the title of the game. Um, I have not, to this day, seen a single episode of Adventure Time. Um, but that's a story for another time. Uh, I have not seen a single episode of Adventure Time, but I still played the video game because I enjoy WayForward's video games. Um, and it was okay. Um, it's like a two-hour game that goes on for four, and a large amount of that is due to backtracking. Um, but it is, it's, it's, it's all right. And I, I play that without knowing any of these characters that it was uh, involving or referencing, because I followed that developer. Um, I played through multiple Shantae games, uh, despite not he hearing anything about it um, until after I had played through Double Dragon Neon. I've played through almost all of Twisted Pixels games. The only Twisted Pixel game I have not played to this point in time is uh, The Maw. And one of these days I'm going to go back to The Maw and correct that. Um, that missing piece but one but that's the thing like with video games I find it easy to like grab that favorite developer and with music I don't really treat it so much I spend a lot of time like I hear like that one good song from um, that band I like with the person and the face, oh god. Um, like, I've listened to Panic Switch a dozen times over, but I don't think I've actually listened to a single album from that artist who completely has exited my brain at the moment. Um, I'm sure you like them, too. Let's deliver this requested cargo and distract from the fact that I cannot remember band names. Delivering cargo. Thank you. Ridge 
Rose has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our ah, a couple this planet. time. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? With Albi, did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. It's because I'm pretty awesome. Also, the Silver Sun pickups. Um, I actually have two of their songs downloaded. I've got Panic Switch. And one other one. And Lazy Eye. But I think those are like two out of the only three songs of theirs I've listened to. Because I'm extremely lazy in regards to, uh, like, listening to new music. Oh, is this a robot? That is a lot of cargo damage. Wow. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be very much of an automatic revolution at that rate. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know Fragile, would you? If you see her... Pass along a message for us. Tell her, thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Knots and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All right, the network. Think you can get us online? I wonder how much of this game is a metaphor for the digital age. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Or whether that's just a strand off my mind. So Scanner so nullification. Down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. Oh. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. That is interesting. Ah, oh, thank you. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict time fall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the ah, because the rain not only nurtures the plants. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. It allows uh, uh, crops to grow faster. Track, I presume. If all goes to plan. We'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> Does she have any lines? She has zero lines. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Halfway there? Look at that. You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. All right. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, okay. So it wants me to go way back to the south, to the distribution center of South Knot. Uh, sorry, the distribution center south of Lake Knot City. Um, and that's what the standard orders are for, is to kind of fill in the blanks on my way back. All right. Um, I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.